Hello guys, you have reached Tough It Off with Miss R and I'm Miss R and today I will be showing you how to clean off the built up grease on your stove top from around your eyes. If you want to see how I do it, then just stay tuned. But also don't forget to subscribe. Let's get to it. All right guys, if you're trying to clean off the burnt on grease that has accumulated on the top of your stove, then I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. We ain't going to take all day. I have already clamped my stove once and it worked perfectly. I just have to apply one more application for the rest that remain to just lift on off. So let's get to it. All right guys, the products that you are going to need is plastic wrap, some gloves to protect your hand, ammonia, some ammonia, and paper towels or just square napkins. Now guys, I have already attempted to clean my stove and this is how it looks. I don't know if you can see it, but there's still some left on grime from how much grease that was around in different areas. And um, I'm just, this is what was left from the first application. It's all, see around here? This is what was left. It was baked on, the grease was baked on and burnt onto my stove top. So, the way that I applied it the first time was with, um, you know, nap, well, paper towels. But this way is much easier. If you have a napkin, remember you still can do this with a paper towel, but if you have a napkin, you know, what you're gonna do is take it, find the corner, and you're gonna cut like a circle, half circle out, okay? And when you open it, you should have a hole. This is what's going to fit around your eyes of your stove. Okay, so let's apply it. Guys, you know me. I like to work smarter rather than harder. So when this method worked for me, I said, okay, it's got to be an easier way to do it. So we're going to take that lid off. Depending on what eye you use, you know, cut the circle bigger or smaller. But... That fits around there perfect. Let's put on our gloves. Okay, guys, now that we got the gloves on and we got this around the eye, I'm just not going to pour this big old bottle. I'm just going to get something small. And I'm just going to pour some ammonia in the cup just so I can get it where I want to get it to. And I'm going to pour it all around the eye. of the stove and you're going to do each eye that way okay once you get it where you need it to be see that now I'm only showing you this guys because it worked this works and I'm just showing you the smarter way that I figured out how to do it so now that that's on there, you're going to take your saran wrap and you're going to cover it. You're going to cover that whole section. Now, I like the saran wrap, covering the saran wrap because uh, it keeps the smell in. This, uh, this ammonia is strong and uh, it absolutely will keep the smell in. 
Guys, disclaimer, I'm doing this because I tried it and it worked for me. But uh, try this at your own risk or discretion. I'm just showing you what I did that absolutely clamped my stove. And I'm so glad that it did. Because I have never let the grease build up again. And so you're going to do every eye that way on your stove and you should be fine all right guys so once you apply your plastic and your you know your ammonia and your paper towels or your napkins just go and do something else and um, when you come back and check you're going to see the paper towel turn brown then you're knowing that that's lifting it up I don't know how much grease you have on your stove but uh, I had some grease on there and uh, it lifted up to the very little that you saw earlier. And like I said, now that I know that that works, I just said, okay, I'll just apply another uh, layer of paper towel and ammonia at another time. And that should clean it completely. All right, guys, I'm going to start cleaning this up. And um, like I said, this method works. Woo, look at that. See that? And as you apply it, as you apply it, just um, do it whenever you have, you know, a chance. But mine will never get caked again now that I know I can give it a treatment. Yeah. For tight places that you want to clean, take a butter knife, take your towel, double it up, put it over your butter knife, and you could get right up against the aisles and the curved part of your stove. Make sure that the butter knife does not come through the towel. Because you're not trying to scratch your stove. You see that? And that lets you get right up in the crevices of your stove. And around the curved parts of your stove. Like I said, do make sure you do not let that butter knife come through the towel. There we go. And so now I'm going to do it again. Nothing is on the tip. I think I see a little spot here. There we go. I'm going to show you the top of my stove. We're going to see how it looks. See if I can get you over here. See this eye? Burnt thorn grease was all in here, remember? This is Top It Off with Miss R. I am Miss R. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below so you'll know my next video is coming out.
And as always, stay safe, stay blessed, love one another, and I'll talk to you later. Mwah.